Welcome back. Many thanks. Welcome back. Many thanks. How's it going? Did you find anything useful on that behemoth carcass? Yeah, we got some good materials. Horns, claws, the usual. Oh, and a sword. What? What do you mean, a sword? Ding had a sword in it! Why would a monster be carrying around a weapon? That makes no sense. Look, I'm just telling you what I found. Okay, so where was it? In its stomach, duh. That makes even less sense. How would it survive having a sword in its guts? What do I look like, a monsterologist? All I know is, when me and Robin cut that thing open, this is what fell out. Whoa, that behemoth had good taste. Did you find anything else in there? You don't want to know. Mind if I borrow this? I want to have the blacksmith take a look at it. You're kill your sword. How's it going? I really screwed up. I'm listening.
Yes. Have you ever seen a weapon like this? Wow, well, that's a beauty. How'd you come across this? In the belly of a monster. Huh, you don't say. Of all the strange places. Well, the material is certainly interesting. Looks like it's got soul stone baked right into the metal. Honestly, I don't even know how you would forge something like this. What makes you say that? Mmm, Soulstone's not a friendly ore. It takes a lot of heat to shape it even a little. Something like this? You'd need to forge about ten times hotter than this one here. Whoever made that, use some kind of weird magic, or I'll eat my hat. Interesting. Guess I'd better go talk to a weird mage. Welcome. What can you tell me about this? Gods! Isn't that marvelous? Francisco said he found it in that monster's stomach. And the blacksmith said it had to be forged with magic. Do you... sense anything from it? The metal exudes a powerful elemental aura of lightning. You mean like... mine? The Eidolon thing? Similar, but not identical. I wonder where it came from. One of the Storm Cults, perhaps. Well, it matters not. Either you found it, or it found you. I recommend you put it to use. You think an antique like this will hold up in battle? I do. And I wager it's got a trick or two as well. I do like tricks. Welcome. Hmm. <laughs> right.
Mmm. Hmm. Indeed. Hmm. Intriguing. Welcome. Albrecht, why are you bothering people? I have no idea what you mean. I hear you've been following Marshall around, among other things. Hmm? Oh, that. Yeah, just a bit of odd research. And what exactly are you researching? The Eidolons, of course. I've realized there are severe gaps in our foundational knowledge about the actual mechanics of magic. The more I understand, the better I can train you. And the better I can train you... The sooner the war ends. That explains why you've been acting like a lunatic. But what does that have to do with pestering people? Well, I can't exactly continue my historical inquiries, given our present situation. So you decided to start using your allies as test subjects? Oh, you make it sound so sinister. All right, that's it. No more studying people. Well, what do you suggest? Study myself? Why not? Actually, hmm. If you and I were to duel, that could be rather productive. Very well, then. I'll speak to the Master of Arms and arrange it. See you there. Welcome. I thank you.
How's it going? Did you find anything useful? How's it going? I really screwed up. Welcome. What can you tell me about? Welcome back. Many thanks. 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 You've all been... I'll end things here for today.
Hello. Hello. Hi there. <laughs> Ah. Yeah. Any news in Falnoct province that I should know about? Nothing much, though we have been getting some complaints lately. Complaints from who? Some of the other colorful souls who live around here. Hermits and such. Apparently they don't like how we conduct monster hunts. It's always something. Hey, if you're interested, one of the louder ones dropped in today to chew my ear off. He's still in camp. I'll check it out. Thanks. And, Cap, try to be patient. The people out here can be... prickly. Yeah? Hi there. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Hi there. Yeah. Let's see.
What do you mean? Hmm. Hi there. My name's Eden. I'm in charge around here. Well, well. The great hero of Faunacht has finally deigned to grace me with a meeting. How kind of you to stoop to the level of us lowly outcasts, Grace. I understand you've got some kind of issue with our monster hunts. How can I help? You can cut it the hell out! That's how. Please, let's stay civil. I'm sure we can work this out. Civil, my ass! You people have been cutting down our woods, stealing our game. How long have you been here? <laughs> Fifteen years! Then you've got no more right to this land than we do. We only hunt monsters for self-defense and things we need to survive. If you've got a problem with it, go somewhere else. You go somewhere else! There's a hundred other valleys around here with no people! Moving our base would just mean we'd be out here even longer. Uh, I knew this was a waste of time! You can say that again. Yeah? How'd it go? Terrible. I could barely get a word in edgewise. Uh, I told you he was prickly, but it doesn't mean he's wrong. It's not like he's part of some ancient tribe. He's a runaway squatter, same as us. Try to see it from their perspective. Most of the people here are refugees. We're refugees. Yeah, and we have an army. Which means we can't just run and hide from monsters the way they do. If we don't deal with these things, they pick the whole camp off one by one. Cab, come on. When did you get so inflexible? Neither side's in the wrong here. But we shouldn't get to bully them just because there are more of us. You're right, of course. Damn it. I'll go talk to him again. Try to work something out. <laughs> That's the spirit. Being in charge is annoying. I'm back. And I'd like to apologize. Uh, I'm listening. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong. We stomped in here and made your life worse. Oh, I apologize, too. I shouldn't have gone off like that. You're just trying to help. It's not like it's been all bad. It's certainly safer around here now. Just hungrier. How about this? We don't intend to be here forever. But in the meantime, what if we share? Share? What? Everything. Any monsters we kill will set aside a portion of what we harvest for you. Well, that would be... That would be great! Oh, but you folks probably kill a lot more meat than I know what to do with. <laughs> but there are others around here, right? Uh, well, sure. A couple of loners like me. Some families. A little scraggly village or two. Think you could put us in touch? Same offer. Anybody whose feathers we've ruffled, 
We'll make it right. I'll even throw in some supplies for your help. How's a dozen new bows sound? Ha! <laughs> Sounds like a fair deal to me. I take it back. You folks are good people. We try to be, anyway. Yeah? I took care of that situation. I heard. Nicely done, Cap. I guess so. Problem? Used to be that would have taken me one conversation instead of five. I'm worried you're right. I have changed. We've all been through a lot. You more than most. Nobody expects perfection from you so long as you don't stop trying. Or you could take over. <laughs> I'll pass. Damn it. Yeah. My mistake. Think about it. Well, <laughs> thank you. Can do. Hmm. Welcome back. Many thanks. Yes. Hi there. You have my thanks. Yes. You have my thanks. Yes.
What is it? Hmm. <laughs> All right. I'm curious. Uh, well. <laughs> I concur. Need something? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> now, let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> ah. Yeah? He's a menace. Who? Your little wizard friend, Albrecht. He's been driving everyone crazy. Have... Whoa. What's he doing? Poking, pro... The other day, Mark... He spent half... That... I don't know what he's up... Deal with it. Yeah? Uh... Mm. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. Yes. What's this I hear about? Oh, that ridiculous biz. Honestly, I'm more concerned with his. So well, he recently said more serious and. Yeah. I'm sure he's got good. Yes. Mm. Uh, well. <laughs> mm. <sighs> it's worth considering. Welcome. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. We are of a similar mind. Mm. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Intriguing. Welcome. Albrecht. I... I hear... Hmm? And the I've the more I under the suit that explain but well so oh all right well why not? actually very well
Welcome. Well, did you learn anything useful? Too soon to say for sure, but it's certainly given me much to think about. And you? Did you discover anything new? I discovered you hit really hard. I believe in rigorous research. So are you satisfied for now? No more driving everyone crazy? I will try to keep my inquiries unobtrusive. Good. And I'll tell Andrea not to break your legs. Was she considering it? God, we should have just said that from the start. That woman is terrifying. Welcome. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> ah. Intriguing. Well, well. Look who it is. Clara, we need to talk. Well, hurry up then. It's almost time for evening training. I know how much work you... Without you... Why do I sense a butt? Come... I think you're pushing them too hard. <sighs> You've done more than... You have nothing to prove. And I want all of us... To... So try not to collapse. If I fall down, I'll just get up again. Pushing too hard is the last thing I'm worried. Huh. Look at me. The patch. This damn scar. Peering out at the world through one eye. Do you know how frustrating that- Clara. If I can learn to live with that, how long before I do the same with all of it? If I slow down now, lose that fire? God, just thinking about it drives- I know where you're coming from. But slowing down isn't giving up. Just because a wound heals. Accepting that Leon's gone doesn't mean I don't still care. 
It just means not letting it hurt me over and over. So I can stay calm. In that sense, I'm stronger than ever. And I think you are too. So please, don't push yourself so hard. I'm counting on you. Still got that silver tongue, I see. It's not just talk. I know. Then I hear you. <laughs> Eden, sir. Excuse me for interrupting. It's fine. What is it? Lady Marshall is looking for you. She says there's something she'd like to discuss. Got it. Well, well. Look who it is. I was wondering if I could talk to you about Joanna. Why? She seems a little reserved, especially for someone in a position of authority around here. So why are you talking to me about it? I'm busy. I didn't want to step on your toes. Plus, you two are... whatever you are. Joanna doesn't talk much. Well, I knew that already. What I mean is, it's not just some cute personality quirk. Joanna's... had some trouble. She doesn't trust people. So she keeps her mouth shut. Ah, I see. Good for you. Now get out of my hair. I'm trying to train your troops. Hello. Joanna, what are you doing? Listening. You mean eavesdropping on your own soldiers? I'm gathering information on unit morale. It's more efficient than talking to them. More efficient or just less scary for you? <laughs> I'm not saying you have to change who you are, but communicating is part of being a leader. I see. In that case, would you like to accompany me on my rounds today? Me? What for? Talking is part of being a leader. So let's talk. I could... use the practice. You want to use me to practice small talk? If it's a problem... No, I think it's a great idea. Let's do it. Where to first? The square. I need to assess the density of merchant stands for evacuation planning. Sounds great. I'll meet you there. All right, here we are. Hmm. Any thoughts you'd like to share? It's an efficient marketplace. Joanna, you wanted to practice conversation, so converse. I apologize. This is awkward for me. Okay, I'll start. How do you think our little shops compare to Leary are? In what sense? I don't know. Variety? Our oh. offerings are pretty poor compared to a city like that. Hmm. I disagree. Liriar is a residential city. Its shopping district has to cater to an array of needs. Our markets serve two purposes. Keeping soldiers alive and happy. They do that well. <laughs> I guess that's one way to look at it. You know, I just figured something out about you. It's not that you have trouble talking to people. It's that you only enjoy talking about things you think actually matter. I... suppose that's true. On that note, I've finished my observations here. The training field is next on my list. Lead the way. So, what's next on your task list? Spot checking equipment wear. It'll just take a moment. You know, it occurs to me I never see you training out here. I maintain my skills privately. Clara doesn't mind. That's surprising. She'd skin anybody else alive. 
We've worked together long enough for her to understand that my talents lie elsewhere. Lucky you. I agree. Her training regimen lately has gotten... extreme. Truthfully, I find it a bit exhausting. Wow. Never thought I'd hear you engage in gossip. <sighs> Joanna? Did I... say something wrong? No. I'm simply finished here. My last stop is the stables. I'll meet you there. Uh, sure. So, what are you up to here? Nothing. I just come here between tasks to settle my mind. I find the smell calming. It reminds me of the ranch where I grew up. Oh, I had no idea. No one does. Not even Clara. Aren't you two best friends? No. Business partners at best. Usually, anyway. Speaking of Clara, I'm curious about something. Yes? If you were trying to avoid talking to people, why choose the mercenary life? It paid well. But working on my own, or with most other mercenaries, proved to be... challenging. Clara and I never had that problem. She did the talking, I did the thinking. I mean... that's good, I suppose. But you can't go through life that way forever. You're not wrong. To tell the truth, I've recently begun to think the same. Maybe that's why I asked you along today. <laughs> Thank you for accompanying me. It was helpful. I can finish the rest on my own. Perhaps I'll even strike up a conversation or two. Glad to hear it. Hello. I can't thank you enough. Hello. <sighs> yes. Yes. Marshall, what is it? Eden, good timing. That sign you've been waiting for. Marcus of House Sequel. Lenard? Yes, my lord. We've recently confirmed that Marcus... He's also been around... Including Mercenet. Then that would... He's preparing for... If we've got this in... I agree. Lenard. Of course.
Well, well. Look who it is. Hi there. I'm listening. Look who it is. Welcome back. Many thanks.
It's all on me. Open your mouth. I'll put an arrow in it. Not everyone can be forgiven. Let's roll! Um, where are we going again? Well, well. Look who it is. Within every lie, a kernel of truth. Out of sight, but not out of mind. Plans are like booze. Only good till they run out. Francisco the Bold has arrived! I can handle that. Towards tomorrow. Light burns the brightest in the dark. This is the plan. Live with it. I understand. Understood. Simple enough. Sweat.
Let's do this. Weapons aren't the only thing that rust. People who run their mouths die first. I'll see it through. You can do this. You can do this. Some questions are worth dying for. You got it, kid. A lady Marshall. Coming right up! If your blood runs hot, keep your head cool. Fine! Understood. Raise your swords! This is not the place we die! No problem! All right! As you command. Well, well. Look who it is. Sure thing. As you command. Sure thing, Cap. So I will bring justice to this land. No flame can extinguish my will. I may not be smart, but I know how to hurt. You see the trees. I see the forest. Tomorrow's a new day. This is the plan. Live with it. The harder the fight, the sweeter the victory. Whether words or swords, I mean... Think deeply. Act quickly.
As long as Sarah's safe, this whole world can rot. A solid plan. It's time. Don't fight smarter, fight harder! Acknowledged. Fools and drunks have in common? They never learn. Acknowledged. starts racing slow down and take a moment the destination doesn't matter it's the people you're with Sword. This is not. Yeah, yeah. As you command. Weapons are...
Welcome back. Many thanks. Hang on. You're telling me Ballastar's left the capital? Yes. He's departed Castilian and entrusted the city to Hector. It doesn't make sense to me. With how unpopular he is, you think he'd be more careful not to risk a revolt. Maybe he's confronting the risk head-on. Crushing some minor rebellion personally, as a show of strength. Albrecht, assemble the troops. Understood. So, the time has finally come. Marshal, what's the situation? Scouts report that the Siegwolves are leading an uprising in Hollisburg. Hollisburg? Isn't that... The place that bastard butchered all those people. As you know, the Seagwolves were allied with King Abramo. But that alliance began to crumble when Ballastar put their ancestral home to the torch. When the Empire fell, they reclaimed the city per the terms of their treaty, but the land was already in ruins. They sent a request for compensation to Abramo, but by that time he had already been killed. So they asked the same of Ballastar, but he wouldn't budge. And just to add insult to injury, He's levied the same tax rates on them as the Empire did. And Sorrow must be rolling in his grave. As of now, only the Siegwolves have rebelled, but soon the other noble families... Enough talk. Why are we here? There's plenty of groups out there fighting Ballastar. What makes this one different? Ballastar's dealing with this one personally, and he's left the capital. Then that means... Yes, it's time. Make your preparations. We march at dawn. That soon? How are we supposed to do that? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm itching to get back. I've been ready for months. But didn't we torch Selvati Pass? It'll take us months to rebuild. We don't need it. We're going through Vugar. Vugar? You mean that mining city? Have you looked at a map recently? That's way up north in Ibosa. Yep. And there's a pass that leads there from Liviu. I learned it from a smuggler a few years ago. I told you all that Clara was here in Liviu before we burned the pass. That wasn't the truth. The truth is, she came later. There's been another road out the whole time. And you didn't tell us? I had to keep it secret. Besides, if you'd known... You'd have been begging me to go back every day. I had to wait for the right moment. I mean, that makes sense, but... How sure are we that it's still a secret? If Ballastar got the same information... Not possible. That smuggler I mentioned? I killed him myself. Until recently, I was the only person in the world who knew that road existed. Okay, that settles our route. Now let's talk strategy. High Commander Clara, what's your plan for occupying Vugur? The number one factor in our strategy will be Vugur's reliance on forced labor. The city's got a lot of mines, and that means a lot of bodies to dig them. It's one of the most miserable prison camps in Artemisia. If we can get into the tunnels and avoid the patrols, we can free the laborers. They riot. The soldiers leave the castle to deal with it. Then we swoop in and take the whole place right out from under them. What happens if we get spotted? We won't. I've been planning this operation for two years. I heard Kaspar was put in command of Uger after the Empire fell. He may have lost to Ballastar, but still, the Imperial High Commander... What's your point? You think Ballastar could beat him, but I can't? 
I'm just saying there's nothing wrong with being too cautious. This is the plan. Live with it. Enough. Infighting is the last thing we need right now. It doesn't matter who their leader is. By the time Kaspar realizes he's in a fight, he'll have already lost. All right. Ever since what happened, I've been living in a fog. But the fog has lifted. I'm ready. And so are all of you. We will not let Ballastar run wild any longer. Say goodbye to this place. As of right now, we're done hiding. <laughs>